Evening, human meat people. How are we all? Hope this is all working. The thing is saying that sound is going in. So you should be hearing a lot of that right in your faces about now. How are we all doing? Let's see who's lurking. How much of the gang? Here's a few of you here. So, good evening to Darius, Durgrim, and Mackle, and Ponderpimp, Chimera, Sorted August. Sounds like fun. And... Oogaloo Straxy. Oogaloo Straxy. However it is said, hello. Shimera is saying you can't hear me listening to good soundtracks. Well, that's an improvement. <laughs> you turn off the video as well, it's even better that way. Alright, so let's uh, dig back into things. I actually made a tiny plan because I decided to have a modicum of respect for the uh, viewing public. Okay, so things I need to talk about off the bat. There are some bugs in Keppel that um, those of you who have upgraded to SBCL 1.4.4 uh, will have run into. I um, I did a stupid, I lied about some types. Um, I, yeah, so I made a mistake in some type declarations I have in there, which caused SBCL completely fairly to optimize a check away, which was needed, and therefore there are problems. Um, so that's my bad. That is fixed on Master, um, a bunch, uh, also a bunch of other things I'm doing on Master right now. Uh, there was a feature request quite a while ago asking for, like, asking for Keppel not to have a dependency on my maths library. Um, so, yes, I have a library called RTG Math. It's used for kind of real-time graphics -y stuff, so all your kind of vector 2, 3, 4, matrix 2, 3, 4, quaternions, and all that kind of jazz is all in there. Uh, but obviously people have their own and they prefer different styles, so... Um, I've removed that dependency now. That does, of course, mean you need to add the dependencies yourself. So, what you end up having to do... I wrote a note on this in the release notes. So, the works. Keppel readme. Should be in here. Um, RTG math. Yes. Okay, so here we are. Um... You just need to add RTG math vary to your ASD file and use RTG math from your package. That's the only change. Um, you do it when you set up your project and that's it. If you're using um, the um, Keppel little thing that will generate a project for you um, using quick project, then that should already have that change. I should actually test that because I haven't. Um, these all things still need to be fully tested before they go into the release branch for next month's release. Got to do that because it's currently failing on the release branch. So yeah, there are things to do. And that's probably after the stream tonight. I'll get working on that stuff. Uh, what else? Also, um, there are a bunch of style warnings under SBCL. Uh, yeah, because it started catching more things. Actually, there was a bug in CFFI. So 3B has uh, submitted a pull request there. And so that's going to be fine as well. Um, yeah, so last week we did a bunch of stuff, but we got hung up on some bugs. And while there are still plenty of bugs remaining, I want to get on to what we were meant to be doing, which was just fleshing out the API a little. Um, so we're going to start there. So let's do this. I got kind of tired of, like, the actors file here is getting really busy because we have both the code for our um, define uh, macro actor in there. We have the definition of God is in here as well. Um, that's probably okay, that's another macro definition. But then down the bottom, we've got a bunch of um, kind of runtime API stuff. I wanna move this out to its own file and yeah, just start separating that code. We need to do some refactoring. Things are getting hard to follow. So. Let's go and make a new directory. It's going to be called API, and we'll just put actor in there for now and do lisp. And we'll put this in here, and we'll go down to those API functions, which were here. Where are we? Self. All of this stuff. Make that file. Cool. And now we can remove... this all the way up to here um, and we can probably just go and take this and stick it up the top of the file okay so that's that out 
We can add this, stage those, and we don't need to stage that change to test right now. Um, as you can see, I've just to save some time, I've brought up the project we were working on before. Um, the only tweak I have made um, is that right now um, the god actor is not spawning an alien every uh, 40 seconds because we won't be dealing with alien for a little bit. We've got some uh, API shit to do. Um, so let's make the change to the ASD as well. And that should be it. Right, let's see what's going on over here. Do, do, do. <laughs> Shimera's already causing drama by objecting to Swordist August's uh, name. <laughs> Swordist August, my name is not up for objections. I agree. It can both be happy and sorted. These are, <laughs> these are excellent combinations. Pond of him is linking probably questionable gifts. <laughs> awesome. I don't know the name of that game, but I've seen plenty of gifts of that around the uh, yeah, kind of lawyer anime type style game. Anyway, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so let's commit this stuff and get back to work. So, new file for public API. Um, we'll push that. And then, oh yeah, there's a couple of things I wanted to do. Like it, at the moment, it's a bit fiddly to test things because we make, um, like we make some actors, but our API, uh, let's just bring up the API function. It's easier to show them to yak actor.lisp. All of our API functions have um, the concept of self. All functions, like public API functions, are meant to be relative to the thing that's currently updating. And so there's this implicit self argument that's passed down, this dynamic variable. And um, that just makes testing from the REPL a little more difficult. So we're going to want a way to do that easily. So um, we are going to add a couple of things. This is for debugging. Actually, let's yeah, let's put the uh, debugging stuff in a separate file. So we'll just call it REPL stuff. Oh, that's a great name. There's no problems with that name ever at all forever. Right, so let's do this. Um, this version of spawn is uh, only used from the REPL. Do, do, do. Let's do that. Let's move that stuff over. And we're gonna add a quick macro called as and take some actor and then it's gonna do let self that actor. Oops, and it's gonna take a body. And we'll splice in the body there. Okay, so now if we have an actor object, uh, we'll be able to say something like as x or that actor, whoever, whatever it is, that as foo, and then we'll write a bunch of code and the calls to these functions will then work. Um, so we could say as foo die, and then that will kill the one we're currently being. Uh, we also need a way to get hold of these actors um, when we're in the REPL. It's kind of, so one of the kind of, um, the kind of mantra of the engine is you're kind of you're only talking about yourself and things that um, you interact with. So each actor has their own um, like main loop, their own states they can be in, and it's only when you're touching something else or do some other query that you get access to other other um, actors. And it's kind of very physical. Uh, we want a way of doing that. That's just like like from the REPL, just be able to call it by some name. Um, and so I had a kind of goofy idea that I want to try just to see if it works mentally. Um, I'm going to give all of them human names. Uh, at least the first thousand of them are going to get human names anyway. And after that, we'll work out what to do. Um, so let's not look at you people for another minute. Well, filth! Right, uh, common 
games. Um, da, 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 da. Top 1,000, that'll do. It's something like this. Okay, so, top 1,000 female and male names. This will do. So the first 2,000 objects are all just going to get given uh, names. And we can refer to them from the REPL by that name. Um, and we're just going to use this for making prototyping some stuff easier. What am I doing? Whoop, there we go. Copy. It's really goofy, but it might actually work. Um, so... Let's get all rid of all those lines just with, uh, yeah, so basically every name has a percent next to it. So let's just do delete non-matching lines and get rid of everything that's not percent. And then make sure they're all indexed correctly. And then say everything with a sp after a space is gone. And we've got some names. That'll do. Um, we could randomize them. We'll probably do that later. For now, let's just go and <laughs> do this names dot list Boop. in package daft it's the reason it's a daft engine because we're doing shit like this names um let's put that inside a list that is a terribly slow indent impressive eventually it is done um Cool. So we got a bunch of names, um, and every time we spawn an actor, we're gonna, just going to give it a name from this list. And uh, let's have a use names as well. Def bar uh, use names. Nail. Um, so what should we do? Um, I don't know. Read names. What we'll do is we'll pop an, uh, a name off this list every time one is instantiated, and then. Um, when they die, we'll push the names onto the free names. Actually, no, we can just push it back onto the stack. No, I'd like it to go to the end. I'm just going to push it onto free names. And then when we're out of these names, we'll just move free names over and carry on. If we're out of everything, to be honest, we're not going to run into that problem for a while. We're going to clean this up later. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Um, so, defunct, get name. And it's just pop names. There we go. Let's check that that works over in the REPL. Get name, James. Get name, John. Fine, good. <laughs> We've already leaked two names. End of times. Um, Shabira is asking, oh, so you haven't played a single Ace Attorney game? For shame. No, I haven't. What does it run on? What? What is, I assume it's on everything by now, but... Um... <laughs> Bob and Viv, you're out of a strange mood today. Name one of them dick. I mean, there's a dick in there. I can assure you. <laughs> I like we've already baiting some kind of horrendous gender bias at the first thousand. Like, and not until we've gone through all the male names will we even consider female names. We'll, we'll randomize that list another day. But we have things to do. Equality for tomorrow. <laughs> Vote Chris for going backwards. Uh, names. There we go. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, so where is spawn? In here, there is a spawn function, I think. Down here. Really? Did I move? Oh, no, of course not. It's in the API. Um... Actor ABI. Spawn. Here's the meat of it. Um, we need to get a name. Hack name. What's this? Intern, symbol name, actor, kind name. Oh, fair enough. Um... Human name is... Oh, it's just called get name. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Get the human name, and then we're going to shove it into um, V. 
the actors. We are going to refactor this, so I'm going to do this in an ugly way right now. Um, we're probably going to be refactoring it today because there are bugs that we ran into last week, which I want to look at, but not until we fucked with some actual fun, visible stuff for once. Okay, so, um, yeah, all of our actors are going to need names now, like a uh, field for that stuff. So where is the class? There we go. Human name or debug name. It's actually probably better. And no, we don't need any of that. That's it. And we will. Um, debug name. Do that. Okay, now everyone that's made should get a name. Um, obviously, we've still got the one that's already there. So if we... Ah, we can test something out, actually. If we go and look at our current actors array, that's the ones we've got. I should be able to say as element zero of that list, or that array, rather. Die. And he's gone. Good. Okay, so as is working. Let's go back to test and let's redefine God. Oh, okay, that didn't make a new ship. Doesn't matter. We'll just do it ourselves. There's our ship. And then if we inspect that ship, we should see that it has the name Robert. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so what we'll also do is um, we're going to print a little message to... We print just a message to the REPL saying which name has been summoned. It's going to get a bit silly when we start ah when we start spawning loads of things, but might be okay for today. Let's see what happens. So let's have a variable up here. Dev var noise it noisy spawn is going to be true. And then down here we will just go. When noisy spawn prints, no, format T, new line, um, has spawned. Cool, so let's do that current actors thing again. We'll do as element zero, die. Oh shit, did we just kill God? I think we might have just killed God. Whoops, never mind. <laughs> let's go and redefine God again and see what happens. We haven't tried killing him before. Ah, okay, so we need to spawn God again. Um, whoops. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay. We've got two ships. We had this problem before. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but let's just... Um, we're getting our names, at least. <laughs> the god's called Michael, I think. <laughs> this is so stupid. Right, um, let's go and look at... Uh, what are we going to do? we go to actors actually and let's do we have a um a print method for these guys yet no okay so let's do def method print object um actor that actor and we're gonna take a stream and we're just gonna do format stream And it's going to be the type of actor, which is going to be the class, and the slot value of the actor's debug name. Now, if we look at current actors, we can see there's a ship called William, a ship called David, and a god called Michael. Really should just be called God, but whatever. That's fine. Um, yeah, we might have to exclude God from that. Oh, who gives a shit? It's fine. Right. 
So we've got two ships for some reason. I want to be able to get um, an actor by name. One thing I actually need to check, seeing as we've got this bug. Um, I want to know if... No, there, there are two completely separate ships. Um, David and William. So this one is called David and its internal next state is uh, called David as well, which is good. All right, that's fine. So we just need to get rid of one of those. And then later on, we're going to try and find out why this is happening. Um, I would like to be able to get at a current actor by name. So we're going to make another silly function um, in the debug functions thing. There's API debug. What did I call it? Have I not saved it yet? Wait, what? Ripple stuff. That was it. That's a pretty bad name. I think I'm going to change that. Um, we'll do it right after we make this function. Hey! Name. And then we're going to find um, name in the current actors. The test is going to be string equal. And the um, key is going to be... Uh, oh, hmm. Key's got to be a function... And so we're going to need a way of getting the debug name. Okay, so we need to go back to actors again and go up to here and we need to make a reader called debug name. And we just won't export this as a symbol that people using this engine can see. Um, that might work. If I actually say it's a function. So now if I go, hey, William, <laughs> we've got William the ship. Okay. And then we should be able to do this as, hey, William, uh, die. So now we can look at the current list of actors and we've just got this ship, David, and the god named Michael. <laughs> and there's all the bullets. Richard, Charles, Joseph, Thomas, Christopher, Daniel. This is brilliant. This is exactly as stupid as I hoped it would be. Okay, so now what I want to do is I actually want um, another thing on here because we're going to start doing API functions that talk about moving relative to something else as I go out of focus. Hmm, seems my settings have been lost. Thank you. We'll have to deal with that again. Oh, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah. <laughs> Honda Bimba is aware of his childishness and Shimera believes that a better name in this case is just Penis. There we go. Now we can fire a bullet. Penis has spawned. And Penis has just died. <laughs> Enjoy, you childish bastards. I love that you folks are here. I'm glad it's just not me giggling at this stupid stuff. Right. Um, Shimera says they remade them for iOS and Android, but remade them with shitty vector graphics. The original's on the DS and 3DS. For the former, just get an emulator. Could do. Yep. Mfiano's here. Um, or he was, but Twitch decided to show me the loading screen forever, even after a refresh until I logged out and logged back in. Oh, sorry about that, dude. I just assumed we're starting late. Sorry. No, I will try and uh, give proper notifications if I'm starting late. Bonapim, you missed it. I was late last week. Or were you here last week? I can't remember. Sorry. That's a long time ago. Um... Enjoy the age restriction and ad blocking on YouTube. <laughs> Demonetized. That's it. I, I, I said that this was um, a mature audience channel in the Twitch. I'm not sure if I have on YouTube, though. Ah, fuck them. I think penis is the least of the problems, to be honest. That's it. It's saying that if you have some well-drawn um, artwork you want to put instead of these ships... I don't mind. If they want to be, just be a load of dicks shooting dicks everywhere, that's fine. It's just your job to find that artwork. Right. Where are we? Okay, so we have a way of talking about these actors now. We need another test actor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ship and... Now, nah, let's just define... 
because we've got two sprites in here. We've got, I think we have two ship, yeah, shuttle two, and it looks, oh, that's the okay one, and shuttle one looks a bit crappy. We'll use shuttle one. Uh, dead shuttle. And its visual is going to be shuttle.png. And I have the worst memory. Yes, it's just called shuttle.png. It's going to have no state and it's not going to do anything. It's already throwing warnings at me. Spawn keys is defined but never used. Well, let's find out what that is. Spawn keys right there in init actor. Well, we just need to do to add an ignorable to that. Um, init actor here, declare ignorable uh, spawn keys. Good, no more warnings, everything's fine. That's how this works. If you can't see the problem, it's not there. Uh, dead shuttle is going to be spawned at 100. And there it is. Cool. Donald. Dead shuttle Donald. Perfect. Um, so we can shoot a load of shit at that. And it doesn't register that it's hitting anything. That's fine. A load of bullets have just left. Uh, we should be able to say, hey, Donald, at any point. And get the shuttle. Cool. So now we have, um, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Michael. No. David. So David, down the bottom. Why am I pointing like that? Ah, oh, and I can't deal with this. David, Donald. So let's add some API functions to do things so David can move relative to Donald in some way. Um, actor. Right. What's the first thing I'd like to do? Um... All right, so I kind of need to be able to get the direction from one actor to another. That seems really sensible to do. So, um, defun direction to actor. Actor. Uh, here's the other actor. Um, and then we're going to, it's just going to be minusing the positions, right? And we'll probably normalize it as well, because it's just a direction. It doesn't need to have the magnitude. Um, we can get that with distance. So normalize, um, it'll be that guy minus my position. So it's, um, how do we get the X and Y? How is that stored at the moment? Let's just go, hey Donald. Why is it not hey Arnold? That would've been way better. Okay, so it's position. Um, wait a second, we, oh, that's actually quite dumb. There's actors. We took out the reader for this, and I don't know why, because we just, we don't want users to be um, using position and rotation directly, because they're meant to be doing everything relative to themselves. But there's no reason we can't have that. So we could have pos and something like that. Sure. Um... So we have a, currently the storing is vector threes because we're going to be using depth later on. So we're going to minus the position of the other actor from the position, actor, position of self and then normalize. And we didn't say which kind of normalize we want. We want a vector three normalize. And it's not self like that, it's self like this. Okay, so now we should be able to get, if we get, um, it was David, wasn't it? David and Donald. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll do as David uh, direction <laughs> to actor a Donald. Cool. That looks about right. I mean, let's make it a little more obvious. We move that guy over here. We do it again. It's minus 0 0.6 and positive 0.7 in the Y, that's that's great. That's exactly what we want. And then make sure it goes the other way as well. Again, we can see. Yep, so that's done. Right, what's the next one I wanted? Uh, move towards. That's sensible as well. So we can just do um, defun 
Move towards actor. Deer is going to be direction to actor, so we can just reuse that. Um, and we want an amount to move towards it. Have we called that before just to have some kind of consistency? Distance. We've talked about distances. Great. So that's uh, distance. And we will um, set f. Actually, if we're going to have these kind of um, functions here, let's not just have them be readers. Um, let's make them be accessors. Is that how you spell it? Accessor? We'll find out in a second. Yep, that'll do. So now we can say that the position of self is um, just the, actually, I think v3 actually has increment, doesn't it? Yes. Yep, it takes vectors. Okay, so we'll do the position of self is going to be incremented by v3 times the direction by the distance and it'll be times by a scalar so it takes a vector which is this one and a float which is this one let's guarantee that it's definitely a float a single float and again we've got our silliness with uh, self and that now that compiles so let's check it out we'll go as david um, move um, towards you know actually I don't like this actor being here of course it's an actor everything's an actor in the system so it's direction to that move towards that so we're gonna move towards Donald by 10 that worked let's do it by a bigger number 20 perfect later on when we start dealing with time steps and time steps and stuff like that we're going to come back and we're going to correct all these to make them take account of time we're not going to do it today so that's cool um and we can move away actually yeah let's just do that move away from actor by distance which is just move towards with a negative distance towards and need to take an actor. There we go. Oh yeah. So move towards, move away from, yeah, good. And again, these are kind of redundant functions, but I like the idea of Seeing as this is meant to be this kind of silly, playful thing anyway, having some of the language be a little softer. Um, and I've missed a message. <laughs> Pond Pimp has uh, <laughs> noticed direction, <laughs> which was, yeah, I Google that too. And uh, misdirection to actor and move forwards. Absolutely, I did. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Shimera is spot on saying it's going to be an hour before he notices the message. Uh, backseat hardly works in this stream. I really appreciate it though. You, you'll, you have no idea. I, I really do because you do catch stuff and um, yeah, you guys are quicker than me. So may as well throw it in there. Okay, so we've added that one. What else? Um, I'd like, we need to do turn towards. Um, we have turn right and turn left. Um, we need to be able to turn towards another actor. The, the way we can do that is we can just compare if we, hmm. it's going to be easier just to do this, get the doodle device out. Everything's moved. I've rearranged flat stuff at the moment because we're sofas and all kinds of things jiggling about. So I have a pen. I had a pen. It's down here. There we go. So, is this not plugged in? Fuck! Where are you? Why are you? And what? What's going on? Okay, so this cable goes here and it just dangles off the end 
with no fucking extension cable. Smart, Chris. Smart, smart, smart. No doodle doodles for you, unless I can find a USB cable in a fairly short amount of time. How many places could it be? Thousands, thousands of places. The entire flat is a mess. Um, <laughs> give me one second. Uh, I'll put you on pause, actually. Uh, buttons. No buttons. Okay, let's see if that made any difference. It's alive! Ah, yes, of course, we won't be able to use this for a bit. Actually, what we can do is if we... If we're on the right machine for a start, that would help. Help a fair bit. Go to our test code again. Let's look at our ship. And we'll just comment out... The strafing code. And now, yeah, cool. Now we can actually do some doodles on this, which would be nice. So we want to turn towards. So we've got to work out the angle and stuff like this. Do we have something for that already? That kind of rings a bell. Um, angle two. Oh. An angle between, even better. Um, Wait a second, this seems a little off. Why would angle two just be the same as angle between? See, I think this is actually backwards. So let's look at this again. Let's go, um... oh no, okay, angle between takes two actors and angle two um, just takes one. So if we do, as David, do angle two, Donald, we get negative 29, which is right because rotations are going to be counterclockwise. So negative 29 degrees is off, you know, if you can draw straight lines, which I apparently cannot, is off this way. Um, so that's actually great. We just... Um, <laughs> that's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, turn left, turn right, all that kind of shit. Be fun. Turn towards. Um, actor by an amount, by an angle. And we're going to say. Yeah, we'll just do if. So. Angle two is angle two actor. If angle two is less than zero, then we're gonna turn left by angle and otherwise we're gonna turn right by angle. Is that correct? Probably not, let's see. Um, turn towards Donald by a certain amount. We'll do 10. Nope, turn the wrong way. Cool, so we just need to do this. <laughs> there we go turns toward Donald and when he gets too far ah oh, that's a bit shitty he keeps turning at what point does it turn back that's a bit garbage why is it still doing this Oh, okay, right. So the reason this is still happening is that we apply our updates in lockstep. So these changes are not yet visible um, because they haven't applied. It's going to be on the next game step where we see that. 
So that's actually going to be okay. Um, so turn left by uh, 90 degrees. Whoops. There we go. That's fine. Let's leave them like that. Groovy, so that's another one. What other things do we have? Hey, Infinisil. How you doing? <laughs> Shimera is posting links. What's going on? Uh, writing a paper. Oh, oh for, um, European List Symposium. Fantastic. Uh, paper draft is done. If anyone would like to offer their time, have a read through there. Cool. Um, let me bring that up. Object oriented shader comp composition using class. Nice one, man. Very cool. I'll have a peek at that later as well. See if there's anything I can spot. But I'm sure you've got it. Yeah, man. I, I would, I, as usual, I'd love to give one a talk in there, but I am fucking physically incapable of writing in, in that style. It just makes me so angry. And yeah, I just start shouting and then have to go for a walk. Um, what's next? More concerned with technical feedback than just grammar. It's in, is it understandable? We already had it run by some excellent proofreaders. Cool. What should we do? Strafe towards. There's another one. Let's add that. So we can turn towards. Now we want to move sideways in the direction of the of the thing. Okay, how do we do that? Let's turn towards. So let's yeah, let's actually just draw that out. What does strafe towards look like? And I want to turn him a bit more to the left. I'll do. And get the pen back out. Let's have a look. So the idea is that we know our forward is that forward, really? It's not none of the buttons I was looking for. Here's our forward vector. And we know the vector to the, the uh, other actor that we're talking about. Um, so what we should be able to do is, well, if we just turn this 90 degrees, we've got our um, strafe vector. Then we can do a dot product between these two. Actually, just, just use a different color. Dot product between this one and this one. And that's going to act as a projection, one vector onto the other. Um, it'll either be positive or it'll be negative. It'll be negative if the vector's going this way. Um, and from that, we'll know which way to strafe. And it'll be as simple as that. Then we'll use the strafe thing that we've already got and it'll be working. So that's, that's the plan. That should do it. So let's have a look. Defund, strafe towards. Oh, come on. Actor. And we're going to need a distance to strafe as well. So the first thing we need is the direction to. Um, so dear two is direction to the other actor. That's fine. Um, we need our strafe vector, um, which we've got to have around here somewhere anyway. Strafe. Oh, we haven't we haven't done it yet. Lazy bastards. That's fine. So um, we'll just do V three. Um, actually, there's a V two from angle. Um, the angle is going to be whatever the current angle of current rotation is of self. Um, plus 90, except in radians, and that should be it. 
That should give us a unit vector in the direction we're interested in. Um, and then we've got to promote this to a yeah, promote this to a vector three uh, with zero depth. God, we're just wasting cycles here. Um, who cares? Not us. It's the wrong project to be caring about that kind of thing. This is never going to run fast. Well, not in that kind of way, anyway. Um, and then we can do v3 times s amount. Is that how you spell amount? Yes, it is. Start and forget everything. And. Um, Then we want to increment the position of ourselves by that. Let's see if it works. Oh, not like that it won't. B3. Let's try this. Strafe 10. Nope. Variable of self is unbound. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, and another thing, I want to make sure that the amount is definitely afloat. We're going to go and put this safety in all over the place later on. Amount zero for zero. So we're going to do as um, David. Where is it? David. That'll do. Sweet. Strafe 10, strafe minus 10. Perfect, cool. And now when we set our angle, um, so if we do as David turn right by um, 40 degrees and then do strafe 10, he goes in completely the wrong goddamn direction. Fuck you, David. <laughs> you are wrong. Um, Why was that then? Again, is that from... Uh, that might be from values not having applied yet. Ah. Is that right? I'm not even sure that's true. Let's, uh, let's bring up an inspector. Um, let's do... Hey, David. Whoop. Hey, Duft. No, David. Inspect that. And rotation. So when we do turn right by 10 degrees and look down here, rotation has changed. Cool. So, yeah, of course, that has to have taken effect. So why, when uh, we do strafing, have we cocked this up? wonder why. From angle, from angle is one of our user functions. Um, no, that takes, no, it's not. It's one of our vector functions and it takes radians. That's for damn sure. So that's not it. What are you? Can anyone see the obvious mistake? <laughs> Shmera's taking the piss out of me for not being able to write papers. Camera tricks on. Hey, don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome. Asking Shmera, do I need to know Lisp to understand the paper? Um, it def and Shimera's answering, it definitely helps to know Lisp, specific specifically common Lisp, but a significant part of it should require no knowledge thereof. Um, and the rest you can probably infer. The mop class part will probably be weird to you. Hell yes, because it's weird to me. Uh, but the rest should be fine. Awesome. Shimera, I also don't know Lisp. Hey, we've got a few non-Lisp people here. That's really interesting. 
How many of you lurkers are not Lisp uh, coders at all? And what are you getting out of this? Or is it just morbid curiosity? Uh, it's a serious question, though. It's really interesting to know why people are why people are lurking and what you want. Right. So, why is this fucking thing not working? Okay. So, yeah, and that's bullshit as well. This whole end of frame nonsense. Because of course, it's, it, we're we're running the simulation. Of course the frame keeps ending. How stupid can I be? Holy hell. Um, so. Yeah, just wonder what it is. Wonder what it is. But anyway, let's, uh, let's strafe and just see what we get. Strafe 10. 0.69 radians. I mean, that seems... Forty degrees. Ah, but forty degrees, that sounds like forty degrees is like forty degrees positive, so yeah, this is uh I've got a mix up here. I've definitely got a mix up here. Between oh fuck, okay, right. Think about it, Chris, for a second. Um, that angle, I need to be, I, I, yeah, I'm doing the, doing right, which means that should be, um, like positive is anti-clockwise, so negative is clockwise. So amount, whatever the amount is, um, oh, where is it? Where's 90? It should be minus 90. Well, that would be expected, but also annoying. Um, what happens if I just say move forward then? Practically the same. Chris, what have you done? What have you done? Let's see what's going on. Douglas Straxy, being uh, been using Emacs and Stump Window Manager for, uh, for several years, so I know a little lisp. Nothing more satisfying than having total control of your environment at work and home. Hell yes. Um, yeah, I feel you there. I, I kept for ages, uh, I just stuck with the default kind of Ubuntu thing. Um, mainly so I knew what the experience would be like. So if I said to someone, you know, that Linux desktop thing isn't too bad, then I would actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I've given up kind of dealing with that now. So I've just have as crazy an environment as I like. So I just have stump setups. Stump WM set up as uh, with Emacs key bindings. It's fucking great. Infinisil. While I don't know Lisp, I really admire its idea, and I uh, probably don't know anyone uh, having complained about it. Would we'll probably know uh, Lisp by now if I wasn't so lazy. Eh, you know, there's plenty of time. Shimera saying most people complain about it even if they don't know it. <laughs> Actually, especially if they don't know it. Too many friends. Yeah, that's, that's the. Uh, most disappointing argument against it. That's like complaining about Haskell for its indentation. And Haskell is stupid indentation. <laughs> I don't know, Finisil is correct. Yeah, it's just nonsensical complaining. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of special cases when someone can say something about something they haven't experienced at all. It's like, if you can do a reasonable projection, um, yeah, I won't, I'm not going to eat a sandwich full of shit because I haven't done it before, but, uh, cause I can pretty much guess that's going to be a bad idea. Uh, mirror, da, so da, 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 which the ones I'm trying to port my C engine to list as next size and learning list. Cool. Um,
Tamara says, might not be a good idea because um, you don't want to kind of write C inside list, which is true. And um, porting might be a bad. Uh, solid, uh, sorted August. <laughs> Saying it all wrong. Not solid August. Um, could be. Uh, porting might be a bad word. Let's just say write a new engine. Yeah, totally. Um, that's very cool, man. Yeah, nice to hear. So, what stupid have I done this time? I really actually need to add a thing for drawing the vectors I'm talking about. So where's move forward anyway? Move forward is taking angle into account. It's got to be. Increment distance is going to be. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be amount. Distance. Distance. We turn by an amount or an angle, we move by a distance. <laughs> Oops. Radians. Okay, so we're strafing in the wrong direction, but that's because of the minus 90. So I just fucked it up. Uh, done something. Oops. I think I just killed the main loop. I did! Right, let's start it up again. All the state's still there, so we'll just carry on where we left off. Good stuff. Okay, so... Strafing's working there, so now we can get back to what we were talking about, which was strafe towards which we said we needed the direction to the other thing, which we've already got. And we need the strafe vector. Um, do we need that? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool to have that. Okay, so let's, uh, where's strafe? We're just dealing with it. There it is. So... Yeah, this guy. Okay, it does suggest there is something up with my uh, rotations, doesn't it? I'm going to have to go and look at that because that's slightly worrying. But anyway, we've got the straight vector. Uh, what am I doing? And we'll do the uh, DP is going to be the dot product, vector three dot product of um, the direction to the other actor um, onto the strafe vector. And for now, we'll just print what that is and do nothing else. Um, and it's going to freak out because everything's wrong. Okay, fine. Rotation. Self. And distance is defined but never used. That is true. Um, so we're going to do as David. We'll do strafe towards. And we're going to be strafing towards Donald. 
Right, so minus 0.52, which is saying negative. So it's we're going to be strafing to the left, which is exactly what we want. That's cool. So then we can just do um, if less than, if dp is less than zero, um, then, yeah, if dp is, then we can um, strafe. Um, do we have a strafe left as well? Really should. Sure. We want all the silly combinations. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll do strafe um, by minus distance or strafe by distance. Okay, so now we should be able to strafe towards Donald. Let's uh, do a large jump in that direction. So 70, 80. Right, and now if we strafe towards Donald, we go right. Excellent. So now we'll hover left and right. Ba, ba, ba. Um, yeah, that's good. That's what we wanted. Took a little longer than expected, but that's cool. Um, we'll deal with this soon. We will merge and push. I just got a couple more to do. No, Eric, that's, that's the last one I, I really needed to do. Hey, love like Samtex. How you doing, man? Finisil say I'm also here because it's one of the few streams with Emacs. Too many web devs. <laughs> Shame, that's creepy. <laughs> cool. Right, so we've got a few more things now, so let's commit let's commit let's commit what do we got here um oh we've got some new files and stuff as well so let's just quickly look at the asd and see what we need to do so uh there's a file called repl stuff which i hate that name um so we're just going to call it uh debug for now it is the stuff we're using from the repl but i just want to call it debug um File, uh, whoops, API, debug. We have the names file as well. That's already in this list. That's cool. So we can add these guys now. Um, we've modified test. We don't need to store that because that's just been used for this stuff. Uh, we've modified the ASD, of course. We've modified this API. Yep, that's fine. And we've modified actors. And we're going to be doing a lot more here very soon. Cool. Um, and more. Um, yeah. Yeah. And more to the uh, public actor API. Good. Finally. God damn. So that took an hour. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do last week. So that's cool. So that's in now. Um, and now we get to look at bugs and all that kind of shite. So, um, whoa. I guess I left that in. Um, Move that 80 to the, oh, oh no, strafe 200 in the other direction, uh, turn left, 45 degrees, turn left 5 degrees, that loop. And let's go back to here. Ethan B. Morgan's here. <laughs> Good to see you, ma'am. Jesus Christ. That escalated quickly. <laughs> nice to have you, man. Bringing the fucking crazy with you as well. That's excellent. Shimera is saying, also, Baggers, sorry to break it to you, but with the addition of BirdCam uh, to my stream, it's now objectively superior to yours. It really is, though. Like, I, I'm not going to argue with that. 
It was great. I could almost ignore you entirely by looking at those birds. It was fucking awesome. It's made the whole thing has become much less painful. Uh, so yeah, more of that. Uh, <laughs> if in a cell, I really should take the time to understand magic. Seems really nice. It's fucking great man it's awesome especially when it comes to rebasing there it is it is untouchable so good um ethan b morgan's like haven't seen the joker on the few streams yeah man it's been a while i've been um tidied away doing uh i've been going really slow on the projects i'm meant to be doing so i will um yeah i'll have news for you in the next couple of weeks with stuff but um yeah gotta plot on with that it's priorities and stuff Magic is the best. I, I would, like, even if I wasn't using Emacs for editing files, I would have it installed just for Magic. Because it's the best Emacs, uh, the best Git client there is. It's <laughs> so good. Right, what are we doing now? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. We've got this stupid bug in our, um, in our system. Okay, so, doodle time. We have a an actor object and we make a load of changes um, we make a load of changes to it and then we like, basically when we create it we create two copies which is the current one and the next one um, and we make changes and then we apply them and we swap. So we swap backwards and forwards. We're essentially double buffering all the all the uh, data. And the reason we do this is so that um, everything's updating in lockstep. Now, it's a bit ugly to have two act whole actors for each actor. The fact that they're both the same, like we have, like, oh, it's an actor object. At, but there's also another one that's exactly the same with the same name and we just swap them all the time. It's a bit weird, but it was stomachable. Um, the problem was when you have state, um, the things that we want to be updating in lockstep are the public values. So things like the position and the rotation and stuff like this, stuff that other things can see. Um, and I think what I want to do is separate the public and private parts and then, um, because then we can store all the private data in just one object. Like we could actually store... Okay, so let's say instead of this, we had just uh, one actor object. It had its private state, and then it would have its public state in a box. And this is the bit we double buffer instead. By doing this, the actors, it's slightly simpler to look at the um, data and reason about it. But more importantly... This is the only bit we have to uh, do in lockstep is stuff that other things can see. And we can put some extra restrictions on this data. Like one of the things that really sucked was when like I shot a bullet and I wanted to um, like on each bullet, I wanted to set who fired the bullet, the actual actor object. But um, that is like, that is a state container in itself. And so having we end up with the same object here and here so when you modify this one you're modifying this one already so you've broken the double buffering that you're meant to have and now this looks like a smiley face Whoop. hey um oh, fuck <laughs> stop being an idiot do the code um so yeah containers are fucking up our system and it's a little more complicated than i want it to be anyway so Let's double buffer the state, and we only need to double buffer the pr public state, and we can keep private state. Yardy, yardy, yardy. Um, something like that. That sounds reasonable to me, and we might get it done before the end of the stream. Let's uh, turn that off and see what you shit posters are up to. Um, <laughs> and Finisol saying I've learned Git fairly well already but I'm still a bit clunky with Emacs um, that's cool like uh, Git ah, man 
Magit's got me using more parts of Git because I feel a bit more comfortable with it. So I know what to Google now, but I'm still like, yeah, I love Git, but I, I, I do rely on this on Magit a lot for all of, for all beyond the basics. I like to be able to see what I'm doing all at once. Can recommend Git Time Machine and Git Gutter too. Haven't seen those, but it sounds cool. Um, <laughs> Ethan B. Morgan. Real programmers take their projects on a USB and uh, fly to GitHub HQ and give them the USB. That's, yeah, you know, sometimes that's faster. <laughs> they have some data centers, I think, in London where it's quicker. Like, the latency is much higher, but the transfer rate is much higher to just copy things onto fuck tons of hard drives and load them in the back of a truck and drive them across the city and then download them into the next place. Because, yeah, then you're getting kind of the local transfer speeds, which is fucking fast. Um, they're moving just God knows how many terabytes of data there was. Yeah, it was crazy town. <laughs> it is a childish stream today. Mithiano is saying, uh, Mithiano, sorry, is saying, you said private parts. Har har har. Um, yeah, actually, Shimera just pointed out the same thing. Putting things onto mass storage device, uh, drives and flying is still often faster than the web. Yep. It has its place. As crazy as it is, yes, it is. Heh. Words. I am the English, yes? Right. Let's, um... Let's go hack up our lovely project. Let's, oh yeah, actually no, I want to do some general refactoring as well because things are kind of a mess. Um, we moved some stuff out of actors. Oh, no, the, where is it? Actors. We've got the class and the print object. That's cool. Um, Radius is ostensibly a um, another accessor on that data. This state we put up here. Are we using next actors? Oh yeah, yep. Of course we are. Yeah, it's the whole that whole mechanic. Um. Update, any actor. I want to keep update with. Uh, we've got define God in here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I think I want to separate some of this out. Like I want to keep update together, um, but the define actor stuff. This macro is getting unwieldy, uh, so I really want to stick it in its own file and tidy up a little. We don't need to find God here. Let's just see what we can do if we take this. Let's just put it in its own file for now. We can find better places for this later. I'll probably think about it off stream because it's just not that important right now. But what have we got here? So next is going to become next public state. Um, where is this used? Heavily in actors, of course, in updates, in the API. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, in spawn, yeah, I think I'm actually going to move spawn back because this is an internal function that really shouldn't be used like this. Let's bring you back into here. Um, 
Um, let's look for. Okay, it's needed in die, which makes sense. It's needed in collision. That's kind of weird actually looking at this. We're not equal. We're comparing. Oh yeah, of course. Making sure we're not checking for collision with ourselves. That makes sense. Um, I think. We'll see. Um, yeah. Task on a frame. Copy actor state. Yes, yes, yes. This is all. This is all correct. Okay. Thanks. Just needed to just needed to go through that and make sure I knew what was going on. Um, Palm to Pimp is sending weird links as well. Pull request. I missed something. Direction to actor. Thank you, sir. Fuck it. Let's just. Uh, I'll review your changes and merge this pull request. Um, do that. Confirm merge. Done. Hopefully. See. Love it. Right. Uh, stage or stash. And a foo. Uh, then we'll fetch from origin. Just make sure we can see what we need to see. Hey. There's the stuff. Pull that down. Reapply. And we're good to go. Um, nice. So what do I want to do? I want to have a... I want to have a state object. So a public state object for each of these. And... Then we want to have certain restrictions on that state. So it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Because even um, a vector, because you, we can mutate stuff at any time. Um, <laughs> Shimera says, uh, should have made a PR to change every name to Dick instead. <laughs> Pond of him, do not challenge me. Do it, motherfucker. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had that tiny gap where you could just, no, no, the PRs are, no, I was safe. I don't have to accept that thing. I might, you know. I think we just keep that on a different branch. The dick engine. Everything's called dick. Right. Um, God, I'm so distracted right now. And fuck, time is roaring away. It's nearly 20 past already. Let's, uh... Like, the public state might just be position rotation and shit like that uh <laughs> i'm gonna have to ignore you guys for a second so i can focus without just having to deal with puerile behavior um okay so we could store the position as x and y separately and then mutation isn't gonna matter um ah, it's not a big deal like the vector stuff we can just keep we can keep saying ourselves. It's arbitrary objects that are the problem. Like arbitrary containers. We're not going to have ways to copy those in any way meaningful. Um, and having two of them is really gash. You know, like if if in your private in your public field you put like spawn another actor, then it's going to spawn two copies of that actor. One for each of the of 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 your state, so it could double buffer them. But then you're going to end up with two actors added to the list, which is just rubbish. So, no. Let's fuck around with this then. Okay, so. What are the parts of state that we really need? Position, rotation, and uh, size related stuff, I guess. Wait a second. Actor.list. Yes, close that. Actors. So it's really this, position and rotation. 
do that. Let's start with just with that. And then um, let's look at test quickly. Make sure nothing was using anyone else's state. So no, you can pass in arguments, but you can't do anything else. So that's fine, actually. This is really cool. Def class public state is going to be this stuff. Um, we don't need to even keep these with references to each other anymore. We like we don't need next. Um, we don't need these two. What we'll have instead is current public state. Um, <clears throat> And we'll fill this in, in a minute. And um, next public state. So we'll do this, and everything's going to break. Fuck you. Go away. I'm breaking things now. Um, then we're going to go to spawn, which is down in here. We're not going to make two um, instances anymore of this. We're going to make an actor, we're going to initialize it, we're going to make two public state objects, and we're going to apply those. Um, and only one of them actually needs to be set up in any meaningful way, as in like, okay, how does this work? Um, ah, my brain's going in two different directions at the moment, it's trying to debug something else as well. Focus on this one thing. So we get actor, and we're going to make... Um, Let's just do current public state. Let's just do it. Okay, so make instance public state. Let's just do this twice. Don't need that. So this is currently wrong because we don't get our proper position and anything like this. So this is where position and rotation are. So up here we've got init arg, so let's do this one here, position and rotation. So we can just take this, take this, all this slot value shit is really annoying. Um, actor, actor, oh yeah, so it's, what is it? Current, next, and debug name. Current public state, next public state, and debug name. Oh, actor. Ah, actually, yeah, that's not needed anymore. Now we can just do this. Nope. They're not in scope. There we are. Okay, so now we're setting up the... Some of this stuff for the actor. Um, again, we don't really need to do this down here because we know the human name here. So in make instance. In fact, seems we're only making um, like one instance of the type for each actor instance. Uh, and we can just go and do this. The debug name is just... Not greedy, you fucking idiot. Init form, get name. Then we don't need... Um, this we don't need this we just need to put that into the scope so it can be red okay so we make the current public state and we give it the values from its parent we give it the next public state and 
um, we don't need to do anything there because we're going to rely on the fact that at the end of the frame, copy actor is going to be called, well, it's going to be called copy state now. We'll modify that in a minute. When noisy spawn, we just look at the debug name that will have been set when it was initialized. So that's fine. Uh, vector push extends. That's all good too. So I think this is okay. Well. Ah. <laughs> so I was saying, Dixficator. That's that's what I was trying to ignore when I was thinking about things. Yeah, man. Just like that's way better. Just if you're gonna like minify JavaScript, you may as well fuck it up. Um, streaming code seems kind of fun. Maybe you should give it a try too. Do it, dude. It's surprisingly good. You know, it's uh, it's hard to think when people are on the stream, or at least I find. Uh, but it, it it's a good laugh. It's cool if you have an audience. You don't need much of one, though. You need, like, eight people, and they come. It's cool. Or you can pay an audience. So it's a Shimera saying, cool if you have an audience. It's in a Infinicil saying they won't be there at the start. Hey, few people turn up. It's surprising, actually. Um, again, if you're going to do it and you're doing it with Lisp, just make sure you mention it in the Lisp... Um, mention it in the Lisp Games IRC channel, because... That's a really nice little community, and they'll love to hear about it. And just mention it on Reddit as well, um, under the Lisp subreddit. It's cool. Palm de Bimp, or you can pay an audience. <laughs> I'll take £100 per hour. Jesus, is that what I'm paying you? Fuck. One of that Patreon's not paying off. Uh, actually, I can't joke about that. Patreon people, you're fucking lovely. You're far nicer than you should be, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> 50 bucks per PR. 250 for this session. Jesus! What do you mean 250 for this session? Oh yeah, fuck. It's per hour 100 bucks. God damn. Shimera's rates are scaled according to ship most quality. <laughs> well then I'm broke. Fucking hell. Like you all just suddenly, oh now there's money involved. This whole thing is just destroyed. Just scrabbling around trying to pick up the pennies. You fucks. Can't think about anything smarter to save you. And I'm now I'm blurry. That's it. That's because you're just charging me. I can't actually afford the bandwidth anymore. So I'm just going to be phasing out all the fucking time. Um, Fino Cells says I should just do a Minecraft coded in one hour JavaScript challenge stream. It'll get dozens of viewers. Dude, I'd watch that. Are you going to do that in an hour? Fuck me. <laughs> Eight people is a lot. I love it. I think it's amazing how many people are watching given how ridiculous and niche this shit is. Um, and Sorted August is saying I found it on Reddit hey it's working Darius on Freenode Lisp Games yeah come there anyway if you have any interest at all in like a lot of us like I'm not building games most of the time I'm building the tools and shit so there's, there's a few people that like maybe there's a few people making games maybe on a good day we're terrible at it Borodust is a machine, though. That dude is putting out so much right now. It's great. <laughs> Shemar is saying, Lisp Games is too chatty about shit I don't care about. Yeah, that's fair. That, that is true. It's a chatty bunch. Right. What time is it? 28. Okay, half an hour. <laughs> Will we get anything done in half an hour? I don't think so. Right, so we're going to spawn. Um, that's good. Do we need two arrays anymore if we're going to be just having uh, the public state? Probably not. We just need to run through an update, then run through doing all the swaps, I think. Um, Shimera is come, saying, come to Shurikuma instead. It's, it's just dead silence. Except for when I yell about dumb shit I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I come there for. Right. And try is cool. So it's, it's worth checking that out. If you, if you guys haven't been watching uh, Shin's streams on Sunday, um, you should check them out. It's 
cool stuff it's been a lot of work on um trial recently which is really nice and to be honest it's just good shit to have in the background it's like this just hanging out it's uh it'll be cool to have you there right where are we um that's actually a good oh fuck focus man focus jesus right <laughs> So we're spawning a thing. Then when we update all the actors. Got draw actor here. Where is that called? It's called an update actors. Good. Okay, so what happens in here? We get the current resolution, we get the array we're gonna spawn into. Yes, that's why we need two arrays, because when you spawn something, you don't want it to be taken account of in this frame, because that, again, introduces order problems, or order dependencies and stuff like this, which we don't want. So we set the fill pointer of next actors to zero, that makes sense. Uh, we set the depth test function to nil, because we're lazy and we don't want to deal with transparency and shit like that right now. Um, we loop across actors and current actors and we copy the actor state. Cool. So, of course, yeah, copy actor state is part of our define actor macro. Um, we emit an update method which copies the state for that. Um, Where is it? Copy actor state down here, which copies the state for that actor. Now we're only going to copy global state, no public state now. And all the private stuff is just left as is. So we don't need this anymore because currently all the public state is exactly the same for all the actors. And I want to see what we can do by keeping it that way. So what we'll do is we'll take this, um, we'll go and inspect it. It's a generic function, we're going to unbind it. Um, we're going to remove this um, makes sense we're going to whoops find where the generic definition of this was was it anywhere nope okay so we're going to implement it now um, Just do a regular function, copy actor state um, for actor. What did we have before? This shit. It's like we ran this <laughs> in the REPL. And that's the code we need. Except all that slot value shit is horrible. So with slots, boss, rock, and visual. Do we need to copy visual? I don't think so. We should be using the same visual for the entire time. We'll get back to that one. We just need position and rotation right now. For the actor, uh, we'll put that around there, but not like an idiot. Um, Oh, of course, that's why we didn't use with slots because we have a source and a destination to write into. Um, so we can go let source be the slot value um, current public state of the actor and let the um, destination, what do we call it? The next, yeah, sure. Slot value of actor be the um, next public state, fine. That's actually okay. Source next, copy actor state. That was a lot of faff to write a very small thing, but it's still there. That's fine. So we copy the actor state. Um, we <laughs> w 
with slots next visual actor update next that's interesting how does that work then let's go and look at the fine actor again how are we for time 35 no problem what does update look like sorry for the sniffing um okay so this is the code yeah this is just our little state machine code so if we go and look at say something with more than one state let's look at oh god has more than one state so let's look at that update just does a case on the state of the actor and then um, calls out to the specific function we pass in self so yes we always update the next state and then every okay so yeah everyone reads from our current state and we update our next state that's fine but important here actually because before by having the two actors this was simpler um, yes, our code was ambiguous to all of this before, so we'll have a think about that. What's going on in chat? Distractions! Um... Shamara, don't focus. Succumb to the end of the stream of menial distractions. I really should. It's fun. Um, Infinisil, when's the last time you changed your Emacs config? I guess the last time it broke? I don't really know. It's it's just a mess, to be honest. I never... There are apparently things to make it nice, and I've seen some really nice-looking kind of setups, and I've never been asked to sort it out, so I end up just copying from one machine to another and <laughs> poking it until it works. That's why I don't make it public, because it's just a mess of stuff right now, but yeah, I need to clean up. Ah, this is a little stupid though. What should I do about the state question? Hmm. There's a lot of ways of doing it. Well, there's a lot of really hacky ways of doing it, and I'm just trying to think of something slightly better than that. <laughs> so what we want is that when we're when we are modifying ourselves, um, we want to use the uh, next state. That's a good point. I've got to actually got to go back and look at that main loop again. Because... Oh shit! Am I on the wrong? Yeah, I'm on the wrong machine. Smart. What the fuck? Here we go. What's your color theme? I don't know. Probably whiteboard or something. One of the default ones. Um, customize themes. Wheatgrass. There it is. Yes, again, like, as with a lot of things, like with Linux and stuff like this, I don't really... I want something that lets me do things, um, and I want things to be open source. I do, I'm, I'm, I'm a person that wants it to be open source so other people can work on it. Like, I don't want to have to worry about the operating system too much. I'm just a user. Uh, I want to write code. I want to get shit done. Um, Linux is just a better place to write code most of the time, and yeah, and Emacs is just fantastic. So yeah. What do we need? Oh yeah, actually let's uh let's do that split again and let's look at Okay. Okay, so we copy the actor state first. So everything we copy from 
yeah, the source into the next, and then we update. Um, using that, well, this was what we had before. Hmm. Ah, oh, I just made it harder for myself and I don't know why. So. I mean, I could just, uh, I could just for like the position and rotation accessors, I could just have them look at self. And if self is the thing that's being queried, then return the next state and look like, yeah, look or modify the next state. And if it's not, look at the current state. It's a bit gash. But it might do. Yeah, that's one of the things I hadn't appreciated was like the, uh, the power of this little thing that we had going. But... We can always reintroduce it. So these guys have accessors, pass and rotation. What about if we just did this? And so what we would be trying to do is we would say, we want to get the state of some actor. Um, so then we say, with slots, position, and rotation. Um, if EQ self is the actor, um, then we're gonna use, I'll put this down next time. We're gonna use the, uh, slot value, um, next public state. Otherwise, we'll use the current public state. Why are we doing that? And is this really that advantageous at this point? We could just use slot value, pass. Oops, wrong way. Swap that down there. every access slow but we're not caring about speed Chris get that shit out of your head that's for Keppel that's not for this we're gonna worry about speed other days plenty of time for that crap Public state. Um, wait a second. Where's that copy actor state again? This isn't quite right. Um, oh no, it is. Yeah, we get the public and next. We copy the current into the next one. Yeah. Okay. Update actor. We draw actor. What's visual for? When visual? Oh yeah, when there is a visual. And again, plot value, actor visual. Okay. Um, And then we need to do one more pass through the loop. This is another cost we're paying, but eh, doesn't matter. Across current actors, we're gonna do, and we're gonna swap the two. Uh, let's 
right there, Chris. Rotate there. Cool. Right. And this we will use with slots, current public state, and next public state for the actor. Okay. I wonder what we broke. You know what the, like, oh. Oh yeah, God's been redefined. Fine. Let's look at what we've changed. And I think what we'll do is just kill the session and restart and um, reload this in. Just we've flushed all that kind of live coding state out and see what I fucked up. So if we've added a new file, then we need to go and mess with the ASD again. Oh, come on now. Don't be silly. Define actor. Made a bunch of modifications. Let's see what happens. Um, quick load, daft. And just wait for the errors. Yeah, we're still learning Keppel, so everything should be fine right now. Finisil's loving the uh, Groovebox or Grubbox theme. Uh, check it out over there. Links are in the chat. Um, I really need to start linking where this chat logs are archived as well. Seeing as uh, Shimera's got a bot in the chat collecting all this stuff, which is awesome. Um... Omdepim's also sharing themes. This theme's everywhere. Okay. No errors, apparently. That's bullshit. Problem is, I didn't do it with verbose, so there'll be, uh, there'll be things. Let's just um, start this up. And James has spawned. Hello, James. James is God. Good to know. Need to know who not to piss off. Um, we're going to... Start up God. Okay, so we just redefined God. It went into the game starting state and it went to spawn a ship. And then everything crashed. We're attempting to read the slot value. The position is missing from James. That is correct. That will be the case. So, here. Um, the position is going to be from. Oh, we might have cooked up all kinds of things as well. Maybe no, no, it'll be fine. Um, just a lot of these positions. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go and change this to slot value. Um, when you're spawning, you're going to be spawning based on your current state. So, current public state. Um, ah, and this is going to be all over the place. Interesting. Silly. It is how it is. It's not as pretty, but this isn't the code the user has to write. Die. We don't have to worry about die. We don't have to worry about play sound. Ooh, death actually. Whether something's dead or not kind of matters. That's one of the things that you can query. So that should probably be in the state as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that next. That's the next thing we have to think about. Play sound isn't implemented. Mouse X is just wrong right now. I thought that was working, especially seen as ship was using mouse move. Oh, yeah, just using X and mouse move X. Okay. Oh, yeah, we didn't implement that because we haven't talked about what it's relative to yet. Yeah, we'll see. Um, position and rotation. Gamepad buttons, we'll get to that as well. 
Axes in range, we haven't done that yet. Off screen, haven't done that. That's going to be an important one. Um, is dead. Yep, we'll come to you. It's alive, of course. It's not, it's dead. Um, oh, interesting. Hmm. Wait a second. Why why am I doing this? We we added accesses for a reason. So we just do Yeah, no this is dumbass. Position of You can tell it's getting towards the end of the stream because everything's starting to flag a bit. Oh dear. Right. Um, dead and next. We don't have next anymore, so this is incorrect. Um, yeah, so we don't actually need to do this. worry about that. Let's take the ones that aren't actually implemented and move them out of the way. Like down here. They're all things we need to do. They're super important, but not yet. Oh yes. Yeah, strafe we've already done. This one we're going to kill. And then let's just make sure, yeah, we're looking at our current state. Hold on. Right, so let's just do F3, wrap that, and go forward and write self, F4. So now we should just be able to go, come down here, F4, down here, F4. Is that right? Yes, cool. So, Here it's a little different. Rotation is from actor and position is from actor. And this again is this position to actor. Is there anything else we're missing? No. That's fine. Rotation of self, again, let's just take out that. Go hit F4. Got this. Rotation. Any silly shit in there? Cool. Yeah, today we were mostly using the position, the access functions we defined, so that's all okay. Move away from is fine. Okay, what do we got? Five minutes left. Yeah. I'm not sure we're gonna get anything running this time, but that's okay. Um, let's go back to the REPL here. Let's go back to the debugger over here. We'll say abort. And we'll start trying to run it again, see what happens. There's no class named ship. That's a bit of a shame. Um, let's abort then and go into test. Oh, of course, actually, there isn't. Um, let's just compile these. Okay, draw actor. 
We haven't updated that yet. With slots, visual, position, and rotation. So let's take out these two. This is optimization warnings, and this is, let's just do it up here. Position is position of actor. Rotation is rotation factor. Ah, no, this is, uh, yeah, is this okay? Then we're gonna be drawing our next state, where we probably wanna actually be drawing our current state. Uh, not great. Maybe this place we actually do need to use the, oh no, we'll use current. this maybe let's go back to the debugger and say continue see what breaks next holy shit it's running oh and attempting to read the slot value boss is missing on bullet main Yes, okay, so this was wrong. This is our hack that we had before that we still haven't replaced yet. Um, and because we don't have something to tell us if we're outside the screen or not. Um, you know what, let's go back to the, come on now, API, actor API, off screen. Let's just put this hack in here. Um, to get it out of this code because we've got to come back to this anyway um, And yeah, this is uh, this is pretty shit. It's uh, oh yeah, we can just do position, slot value. So now we can just say off screen. Yeah. If it's touching or off screen, then we die. Is there anything else using position? Shouldn't be. Continue. Well, shit. Oh wow. Okay. There's a load of bullets, and now they're gone. Cool. Let's add the controls back in again. Well, that was surprising. <laughs> Still love the names. Okay. Not too bad. Um... The only problem is dead is still an issue, but we're at 2158. Really don't feel like refactoring that right now. Um, let's uh, see what happens if we try and um, spawn a ship. Oh no, that's us. Oh, sorry, Kenneth. Ass. Hey, Kenneth. Uh, just go and die, please. Oh, shit. Variable Kenneth is somehow. Continue. Yes. Gotta quote that. Seeing as hey is only going to be ever for debugging, why are we taking variables there? Let's just quote it for you. Um, we'll just make it a macro, I suppose. And oh fuck! Well, there's our ship anyway, so don't have to worry about that now. Let's uh, see what starts breaking when we do this. Okay, so yes, it's the collision code. That makes sense. Um, it's looking for. Down here is going to be looking at the position. Yes. Slot value. Why am I not using multiple cursors for this? Who knows? Some fool. 
um, and then say back to the debugger and say continue. They actually, uh, fuck you. Ah, what? It's working. Holy shit. Okay. Um, stage will change. Sure. Refactor, um, public state. Push. Right. Thank you, uh, so much for joining this stream. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or anything, feel free to use these last few seconds to shout them out. I'm going to see if there's any coffee to drain. There it is. It's nice cold coffee. This was a much better week. This was actually what I wanted to get done last week. And we're at the, we're at the 10 hour mark, so we should be getting into more of the meat of the API by now. So it feels like we've been going a little slow, but it's going to mean that the game jam is going to go much faster, which is going to be cool. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this on the stream. My goal is to make Bomberman um, for the Lisp game jam in April. I want to have this engine ready to go for that by then. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do. One of the things is I want to be able to handle up to around 30,000 sprites. We don't need that many, but we're going to use uh, instancing and all that kind of crap um, to do that. We're going to look at just some of the um, some of the things we've done before. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So basically, that's all to look forward to. I think next week we're just going to carry on fleshing out the API and making making more things, making this a bit more playable. I think we might actually let's uh, let's um, add game controller support next week. That shouldn't take too long. So that's it. Thank you so much for the lovely comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Very shortly after I hit the stop streaming button. Eh.